What's up guys, Matty here. So we're gonna start something new. Every month we're gonna do a video of the top plugins that came out for that month. And seeing how it's the end of September, that's the month we're gonna start with. The plugins we're gonna check out today are Autotune Vocodist, the Overstayer Mass, and Quantrum from Waves Factory. So that's enough talking, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so the first plug we're gonna go over is Autotune Vocoder. So it is a vocoder made by Autotune, the well-known vocal tuning plugin. I think we've all heard of it before. Um, really quick, it works a lot like Autotune in the beginning. So you have input type, your key, your scale, right? Just like Autotune. And then you can turn the Autotune mode on and off. So you notice this kind of changes when I, when I click this on. So now we're using Autotune or the voice uh, as our input for the vocoder, which is really unique to Vocodist. So a lot of times you have to use a keyboard to use a vocoder, which for some people who aren't really, you know, musically inclined, but still do music, which is a big thing these days, you know, using the keyboard is, is not always the easiest thing. So this makes it really easy to get a vocoder sound. Now, once you turn this on, you got compression, emphasis, retune speed, and humanize just like you would on an auto-tune uh, plugin. Then there's this noise section, which can help clean up, uh, you know, the synth sound. If there's sibilance or so forth, it will help clean up the sound of the vocoder. Then the synth section, this is just where if you wanted to pick uh, a different input source, such as a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI instrument, you could do that there. This is where kind of the magic is right here. This has all the different models of vocoder and you can you know, tweak the frequencies and so forth to get different sounds out of the vocoder. Uh, the envelope section is for your attack and release. Oscillators helps you tweak it much more if you need to. If you wanna tweak the sound more, you can do that more with your oscillators. And then lastly, it's the output effects, right? And so this has um, warmth, which is like some, you know, tube saturation or whatever. I think it comes from one of their other plugins. Can't remember the one off the top of my head. Voice envelope, spreader, um, and then they have some effects you can use too, which is kind of cool. Lastly, XY pad, which you can collect, uh, connect to the oscillators or other stuff and use an XY pad, which, which is another pretty cool feature. I've never really used an XY pad, but maybe some of you guys do. Okay, cool. So enough, that's a really quick view of what the plugin is and what it does. Now, let's check it out in context. So I got this song from my buddy Trip Carter called Vultures. It just dropped on Spotify, Apple, and all the other good stuff. And so this is the original mix. Um, so what we had was just a plain vocal, right? So I just added this vocodist. Um, we got the key in there using the fifth dimension setting. Uh, he's an alto tenor. And I did a few tweakings here and there with it, but, but it's pretty simple. So let me just play it without the vocodist, the original mix, and then I'll throw the vocodist in. You can hear what it did, and it, it, it can kind of elevate the song. And what I really like, I do, like about it is what we did here at the last part um, using the vocodist. So let me just play it halfway so you don't have to hear the whole hook. All right, here we go. Okay, so you get the idea. That's the hook there. Now let's play it with this vocoder effect in. So really cool effect. You can do all kinds of different stuff like that with it. Can add a lot to a hook. You know, we what I hear is maybe taking that effect in and out on the hook, and then it was cool. Like everything drops, and then it does the effect at the end. So. Dope new plugin. I love vocoders and it's really cool to have this. The only other vocoder I ever really liked was the orange vocoder and that was like 10 years ago. So this is gonna be my new go-to vocoder when I need that sound. All right guys, next plugin is the Overstayer Mask. Now this is gonna be the shortest part of the video because I already did a full review of this plugin. So I will put it in the link above. But like I said in the other video, this is one of my favorite analog devices that I've had. It was one of the only devices that I really regret selling so i was pretty excited to have it in a plugin it sounds pretty dang close to the plugin um it's a really simple it's just a saturation plugin basically or or unit depending if you're using the analog or the digital um the classic one is just classic this one adds a couple different flavors and like i said check out the video if you want to go through all this but then you have just basically an input and output some different flavors of saturation um, low cut and uh high pass uh, sorry high shelf and, and low shelf respectively um, and you can just get a lot of cool saturation sounds. It can be subtle. I used to use it on, on my mix bus when I had an analog version and just do it like here, 
because you know I have mix knob, so you know just it saturates a little bit of the mix, or you can go full grout. Let me just play you this bass line, and I'll just you know crank it up so you can hear what it can do. So a lot of different sounds with it. You know, we got into it in the other video a bit much. If you need another saturation plugin, this might be a great one to get. All right, guys, last but not least, the new Waves Factory Quantum. Now, I love everything Waves Factory makes. They make some killer plugins, and I use Spectra on every single mix. Um, track Control or whatever the track, Track Spacer, I can't remember the name of it. That's used on a lot of mixes. So this is their newest plugin, and what it is on the, on the surface is a transient designer, right? You have to attack, release, pretty simple. Um, I mean, attack and sustain, so it's pretty simple. But where it gets really cool and really different is here. So you can add all these different flavors to your attack and your sustain. And I mean, you think about all the different sounds you could get just use doing that, it's pretty cool. So let's just check it out with these drums really quick. So pretty basic, right? But you can hear it change. What, what we got is a bit of attack and a little, we're decreasing the sustain a bit. So it just makes the drum sound a little bit tighter, a little more punchier. Now, let's have some fun with it. This is one of my favorite ones, the enhancer. And so we can get a little boost, a little high and a little low um, on it and see what it sounds like. So what this is doing, just really quick, is adding a bit of saturation. Supposedly this is the same kind of saturation from Spectra, which I love, because um, you know you get the de-emphasis if you don't want to emphasis the actual EQ, just the saturation, so you can do whatever you want. Frequency, gain, drive, so forth. So you can hear it getting kind of punchier and a little more distorted, a little more edgier. Now, if you wanted to, we could go and throw a compressor on our attack section too, right? Let's see what that does. So that's cool too. Then chorus on the sustain. So like what I'm telling you is like you could get all kinds of sounds out of this thing. Really cool plugin. And even the presets are really dope. If you go through them, um, I used this one on a mix the other day, better drums. So really cool plugin. I've just scratched the surface on this thing, but I mean, just all the stuff you can do, pretty crazy. Um, I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of this one. All right, guys, so those are the best plugins of September, according to me. Uh, let me know what your favorite plugins that came out are in the comments below. Uh, if you need your songs mixed and mastered, you can hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. Also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.